you might have seen a lot of flight controllers but did you think of making one of your own if yes you are one like me when i think of making a flight controller i searched how a quadcopter actually fly when i figured out quadcopter actually moves according to the speed of its four motors for instance if one have to take off all motors must be speed up with the same rate to provide a thrust which will lift the quadcopter high if one have to take the quadcopter to the left side the right motors must be speeded up and the left motors must be speeded down so that the actual drag drag the quadcopter to the left in the same with the right direction now how can we roll the quadcopter any idea okay let me tell you if you ever seen a quadcopter then you might had figured out two motors of the quadcopter are rotating clockwise while the other two rotates anti clockwise this is called conservation of angular momentum actually this is done to stop the quadcopter rolling now using this phenomena we can roll our quad if we increase the speed of clockwise rotating motors then our quadcopter will automatically rotate anti clockwise and vice versa so i think you understand about it now we have to study about leveling of a quadcopter in air how a quadcopter knows that it is leveled or it is staying at the same place or it is hovering over the right angle so this is the first requirement of the quadcopter flight controller have to use something which will tell the quadcopter about its angle as compared to the ground or zero level now the quadcopter must also have the input pins which read the output of the receiver and also it need to give output to the four motors so these were some basic requirements of a flight controller i searched on the web for the same and found a software called multiv which provide open source code and schematics and software for making arduino based quadcopter so i decided to firstly test their code and software as a building block for our own made arduino flight controller let's firstly try multiv and then try to design a different code for our quadcopter and figure out what are the mistakes in that code and how can we cure the schematics according to which four escs were connected with pwm pins d3 d9 d10 and d11 with input pins d4 d5 d6 d7 and d8 from the receiver along with it they used mpu 6050 gyro plus accelerometer module for balancing and attach that with the pin number a4 and a5 which are sda and scl respectively i designed a similar board using fritzing software and get my gerber files ready then i went to glcpcb.com to order my board because they provide the best and cheapest board in the market i click instant cure uploaded my gerber files and selected my quantity and other related features i provided my address choose my shipping method as dhl and pay them using paypal get relief from custom duty charges and have a couple of days then you can choose the ordinary mail also it will take about 15 to 10 days but i choose dhl as i am in a hurry for that arrive to me let's complete the frame and equip the motors i bought a dji 450 frame and 430 ampere escs then i took one of them peeled off its heat sink tube from its connector then unsoldered it Then I added some solder to the soldering pads of the frame and soldered the red wire of ESC to the positive and the black one to the negative. Then I did same with all the four ESCs. Then I took a piece of silicon coated wire and and attached the battery socket on it. Then I attached those wire on the frame board. I took the four arms of the frame, placed them upside down and placed the board on them and screwed them on place with the given screws 
I also use a separate piece of soft plastic foam to reduce the vibrations that comes from motors. Then I place the upper side of board and screwed them on place and also use the foam between them too. Then I took 4 1400 kilowatt motors, I unpacked them, placed them on the frame and, and secured them with the screws and did the same with all four motors. Then I secured the ESCs with zip ties on the lower side of frame, tightened them and cut the rest and did the same with all four ESCs. Take out the signal wire from the opening provided on the frame. So the basic frame part is done for now. After 6 days I got the order. The quality was amazing. Actually without actually without wasting time, I soldered the header pins with a small magic trick. I know I am a great magician. Then I attached the ESCs and the receiver on it. If you want to see the full schematics and code, the link to the code is given in the description. Download your code and open it in the Arduino IDE. Go to the config.h. Now go to the config.h and find the section 1 and un uncomment the quad x. Then Find the combined IMU boards and uncomment the GY521. GY521 is the code for the MPU6050 module. If you are using any other module, uncomment that. Then search for buzzer pin and uncomment the D8 buzzer. Then search for buzzer and uncomment the top three sections and then upload the program and the coding is done. Now go to MultiV config folder and run the MultiV program. Then check and select the port and click start. Check all the controls from the transmitter whether they are going to right direction when changing their position. Then click on calibrate gyro. Then click calibrate accelerometer and then click on stop. Now just do like this and your quadcopter will be armed. Now increase the throttle. Now increase the throttle a slight. The motor will start moving. And now your quad is ready to fly. I flight many ah. times with a minor changes and finally got the best configuration now it fly like a charm so this way the so this was the first part of our own made arduino quadcopter click here for the second part or subscribe the channel for more interesting videos thank you for watching and have a nice day